Welcome back to uh, Orthodox Hipponet page, uh, and here you are going to watch our second episode of Pan Orthodox Roundtable. The first episode of Pan Orthodox Roundtable was focusing on Russia and its exarchate and other thing, other development that was going on in 2022, and here uh, now here in May 2023, we are producing our second episode, which. Uh, on which we are trying to concentrate on Serbia, Macedonia, Kosovo, and Montenegro. Today, for the same, we have Dragan Radovicin with us from Serbia, who is a journalist, theologian, uh, commentator, and he's also. Uh, we are also really happy that he's one of the person who is much interested in Oriental Orthodox churches, as he has made. Uh, studies uh, are related to Coptic Church, and uh, he has also uh, uh, made his impact on Kosovo and Serbian TVs as uh, being journalist and commentator. So he is here with us to explain or to give more information about Serbia, uh, the Serbian Church, Serbian Orthodox Church, about the Montenegro uh, Macedonian Orthodox Church. And the uh, issues of uh, Kosovo and Montenegro, which is faced by Serbian Orthodox Church. So, before uh, going directly towards uh, this particular roundtable, uh, I like to mention the present situation of Serbia, where Serbia was going on through mass shootings. So, two cases were reported in and around Belgrade, where mass shootings were held in schools, which led to uh, a uh, huge number of casualties of students, teachers, and guards. Here, I like to mention the concern that uh, Serbian Patriarch Kodifrije was giving to this particular issue and his uh, uh, his plans for uh, his suggestion towards schools to increase the spiritual contents in the school so that it would be more helpful for the improving need of each and every student. So, going directly to Dragan, um, then what I uh, introduced you about, uh, what's your interest more on to uh, Pan-Orthodoxy and particularly as you, as you are from Serbian Orthodox, we like to know how you uh, follow or uh, listen to Oriental Orthodox churches. First of all, I would like to say to, uh, thank you, thank you, and uh, to, to say greetings to your viewers and to Orthodox Cognitive page, also to your uh, 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 church, uh, the Malankara Orthodox Church, am I right? Yeah, or, or uh, as we say it's here in Serbia, Indian Orthodox Church, uh, who derived from San Apostle Thomas. I'm so grateful to, to speak uh, for your program. Well, yes, Serbia is, is going now through difficult times because of this mass shooting. It was first time in her modern history. A lot of people died and a lot of uh, people injured. And uh, so uh, now Patriarch Porfiry call us uh, to all to be together uh, in faith and love and not to divide in society. Because a lot of people now is... Uh, saying it's a guilty of um, media, of reality shows, of, uh, of, of uh, a, a lot of shootings on, on, on television and TV programs. You know, uh, uh, a society is a pool of, 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 of evil spirits deriving from the West, unfortunately. With movies, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, uh, um, any, as they say, family programs. But these family programs are not actually family programs, but, but with, uh, with, uh, uh, with weapons, with shootings, with uh, crimes. And, uh, and, uh, and the people are, uh, are very angry this time in Serbia. Uh, and we have some kind of demonstrations, protests on our streets against violence, because a lot of violence uh, we can see on television, we can see everywhere. Uh, and on pan orthodoxy and uh, oriental and eastern orthodox churches what's your like what's your thoughts on pan orthodoxy the idea of pan orthodoxy like bringing 
uh, like uh, the union between both the families of orthodox churches yes yes uh, i hope I, i'm praying uh, uh, to god to to make a visible unity among uh, how can we say uh, 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 byzantine orthodox churches and, and the oriental orthodox orthodox churches because uh, we share one faith uh, i'm deeply concerned about, about it and and the problems could be uh specifically terminology but i think it's 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 uh, not so big problem that we cannot uh, have a visible unity and the eucharistic unity L like 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 today we had in russia uh, i think some delegation from the melancara or to the church was there and that that was so so nice dialogue among the moscow patriarchate and the melancara church as as i realized another example is from your uh, your uh, one of the your interested area so the russian orthodox uh, delegation of monks were visiting coptic orthodox churches recently and they have even celebrated uh, liturgy and uh, and other prayers including vesper in, in the great and holy monastery of mount Ag uh, mount uh, 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 like uh, the monastery of saint anthony where saint anthony uh, was uh, yeah. was from so these type of uh, like examples in front of us or the developments that, uh, that we are seeing in present day it's really uh, a great vision for us towards our unity and uh, for more visible cooperation between byzantine and oriental orthodox churches so uh, let's go to the the serious part of the interview that we are planning to concentrate on so uh, particularly nowadays from 2000 20 at least from 2020 we have heard about issues in kosovo against serbian community and serbian orthodox church even uh, in last december we heard that patriarch porfiry day was not allowed to enter into the uh, into the uh, ge uh, geographical boundaries of kosovo as the prime minister and the president and the government the government the government made decisions to Uh, uh like uh, to keep him away from entering uh, kosovo as we all know kosovo is the heart of orthodox serbian christianity including that of uh, patriarch uh, ancient patriarchate of pek which still stands and which is still the chair of serbian patriarch so uh, like as you have deep uh, experience in kosovo we like to hear from you what's really happening in kosovo what what's the political uh, agenda behind this government to keep serbian orthodox church and the serbian community from the from the mainstream of kosovo and and they, their intentions to join with uh, ideas of greater albania and other things what's your thoughts on this why they are trying to keep uh, the church away and why we need uh, forces like of that of k force to protect our churches in uh, in 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 uh, peg or uh, in any parts of kosovo what's the what's the ground reality about this you, you know kosovo well uh, the issue of kosovo is very important for serbs because uh, uh, what is jerusalem for the jews it's a kosovo for serbs and the kosovo uh, was a long uh, time part of serbia uh, from the history from the beginning of of our nation and what was happening during the history uh, during the ottoman times the turkish period a lot of albanians entered into kosovo and they settled there and they started to live and uh, and uh, they started to kill christian people especially serbs in, in that time what was happened after uh you have centuries and albanians came and came and came and and settled in kosovo and today they said kosovo is actually albanian it's not serbian because they're majority but how they are majority during the second world war but even before in the first world war uh, they uh, uh, the 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 uh, uh, they killed a lot of serbs they had a uh, uh, mass crimes on kosovo and uh, and 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 a lot of serbs went out of kosovo and now now we have a situation that uh, after second world war after communist regime in serbia in former yugoslavia after nato bombing 1999 and the war in kosovo serbs are minorities and uh, albanian are majority there 
And, uh, and uh, what is horrible? Horrible is that international community uh, said that Kosovo is an independent country. When I said international community, I think uh, about USA, I think about European Union, uh, and, and all Western world, not about Eastern world or, or China, Russia or India or Brazil or because that country is, did not recognize, didn't recognize Kosovo as an independent country. But uh, Western world did it. Even in the European Union, you, you can find Cyprus, Spain, Romania, Slovakia and Greece, they don't recognize Kosovo as an independent country. Uh, and that's the problem. Uh, so it is the main problem that Serbia uh, actually uh, is not uh, at the moment, at the present moment, is not ruled over Kosovo. Uh, we have Serbs there. We have on the north Kosovo. Uh, some kind of our structures, but uh, most of them are not. And uh, and actually, uh, Kosovo is uh, somewhere between between independence and between Serbia. Even it is part of Serbia, and for me, it's it's it's, it's a part of state of Serbia. And I can say it is occupied by by NATO. By by, uh, but uh, w what can we do? Um, we have some uh, agreement, peace agreement uh, from 1999 after the NATO bombing Serbia. And about uh, that peace agreement, our uh, military forces and the police forces uh, are out of Kosovo. They're not anymore in Kosovo. And uh, every, everything there is um, under NATO, under k and uh, under a local uh, Kosovo government, which is unfortunately Albanian, most of them. And uh, of course, you can find some Serbs there, but... Uh, that, that that's minority, and the, the, the and the, they don't have uh, their vote is not same like Albanian vote in 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 uh, in that part of Serbia. Uh, so it is important uh, there to have served the Serbian Orthodox Church because our historical buildings, our history is there. And what was happening? Uh, 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 they're attacking our churches. Uh, it was 2004 when we had, a, 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 like, like what was happened with Jews in, in, the, in, the, in the Nazi Germany. It's the same is happening with Serbs and Kosovo, unfortunately. And that's every day. And, and, uh, and uh, we can do nothing, actually. But we are trying to have dialogue with Albanians, with, with, uh, with our state policies, is to, 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 have, a, uh, to have peace. Uh, and to work for peace and prosperity in, in, in the area. But uh, 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 depends a lot, of, a, a, a lot of things. And now situation is not too well, of course. So uh, was there any political intentions uh, behind uh, keeping Serbian Patriarch away from Kosovo? Like uh, in last December, we have seen he was yeah. stopped. Yeah, What's the stop, because they would like to say uh, they would like to say uh, we are independent country and and uh, you are not over Kosovo and we will decide when when you come and where you will not come uh, or, or will you come or will you not come to Kosovo uh, and when and th th then it, it won't be decided by Belgrade or Serbian authorities but by Kosovo authorities in Pristina. Uh, we were really then happy that uh, the president of Serbia came out with the support and he, his support. And uh, I'm really happy to hear that the Serbian government is much supportive to, towards Serbia, uh, Serbian Orthodox Church. Uh, like, uh, we have, uh, uh, like we have examples from Orthodox world that many of the, 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 uh, the governments uh, are not much supportive towards the church. But in case of Serbia, the, the, the real story is something excellent where the government and the church is having good relations without any fallout in their relations. Mm -hmm.